Hey, what's up, everyone? Today, I'm going to be going over my... Have you ever had a dream that that you um you had you 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 can? Hey, what's up, everyone? Today, I'm going to be going over my favorite industry upgrades that I've done so far. I received my industry pro back in June as a gift, and right away, I got to upgrading it. So as you might already know, the industry is an open source printer, so there's hundreds and hundreds of updates for it. And today, I'm going to just be showing you and talking about my favorite one so far. So let's get right into it. So jumping right in, we have my favorite upgrade by far, and that would be the Industry Pro Dual Drawer System. I don't remember the exact name for it, but it's on Thingiverse. I'm going to leave the links to all of the files, the, all the Thingiverse links in the description, so you can check out these upgrades if you want to. But this is my favorite by far. There's room to store all your stuff, so the included tools, you can keep your clippers in there. All of your Allen keys can fit in there. If you end up doing any prints that require bearings, those can be stored in there too. There's really just space for everything. All of the tools that came with the printer can fit in there and more. There's also a smaller one. In the smaller one, I have some extra parts like the clamps for the Bowden tubing. I also have some springs for the bed. These are the ones I was gonna replace it with. Didn't end up doing that yet. I might make a video on it at some point but the springs fit in there. We got the extra nozzle. I'm gonna end up getting a hardened steel one eventually, but this is the extra one I have for now. So yeah, all those fit perfectly in there. So that's number one. Moving right along, we have this minimal holder for the scraper. This is extremely useful because before I would just have this lying around on my dresser or like on my desk or somewhere in the room and I was always losing it, but now I can just have it on the back of the printer within arm's reach for whenever I need it. The next one I'm gonna talk about is the filament guide. So this is really nice because it lets the filament spin freely since it has a bearing, and then it also makes sure that the filament doesn't hit the Z-Rod. And then the next thing has to actually do with the Z-Rod. This is this z axis knob so i can make the z axis go up and down using this knob and it's really convenient instead of trying to twist the rod so this is super handy a z axis knob you can make it go up and down as you can see by spinning this knob you can make the z axis go up and down it's much easier when it's going down so the next one I'm going to talk about is this cable chain. So it's in two parts. The first one, the bigger, thicker one, is for the x-axis motor and the extruder motor. So that way, when it's printing, the wires and cables aren't just flailing around and getting in the way of the prints. And then the other smaller one down here is for the y-axis, so for the bed. And they're both really nice. The only problem I had is that it comes with this motor mount that mounts on the extruder motor. And when I had that on there, it didn't really want to stay. So there might be a fix to it, but like while it was printing, it would just like fall off or the actual motor mount would fall off the printer. So I just kept that off and it's working really well. The next thing I'm going to talk about is the filament spool holder thing. Spool. Well, it's, it's the thing that holds your spool of filament. So that's the next thing I'm going to talk about. And this is actually a 3D printed one that used uh, the skateboard bearings. This is the first part that I used the skateboard bearings with. And let me just put this filament down here. And this is super nice. This prints in three parts. You have this holder part. And then you have like the actual roller part that you put the two bearings on the ends of. And then you screw this knob on the end to attach it to the printer. And this has been working really well for me. I like it, it rolls the filament smoothly. Like if I put this roll of 
Matter Hackers blue PLA on here. Great filament, by the way. Not sponsored. Please sponsor me, though. I'll leave my email in the description so we could talk. Anyways, it rolls super smoothly, and yeah, that's the next thing. The next upgrade is this little black piece of plastic and this is an LCD cover for the printer. So my printer is in my room and as you can tell or if you have one you might know the LCD screen is like extremely bright and sometimes it's hard to sleep at night when it's like lighting up the entire room. So if you print this little black cover it blocks out like 99% of the light and then it's much easier for sleeping since you don't have like this blinding light coming from your printer. So the last upgrade isn't really like the rest, where the other ones are printed. This one I actually ended up buying from Amazon. I think it was like 35 bucks maybe. But this is the all metal extruder feeder, and it came with like the Bowden tubing. So this had nicer Bowden tubing and a bigger clamp for the Bowden tubing. So it was easier to take it on and off, and it's more stable overall. But I would definitely recommend buying this. So that's actually all that I have for today, but if you have any upgrades that are worth mentioning or one that you've tried and liked, or maybe even like a fix for the cable chain, make sure to leave a comment down below. So thanks for watching and goodbye. Hopefully you subscribe and like the video and yeah, that's it.